grab your cup. You know, all people want, all we all want is love. We just want to feel like we're loved. We want to give love. It's how we're wired. The first breath that we take, we're looking for love and we're looking for safety. Both of those are equally important. Sometimes one takes on more of a priority than the other, but we're always looking to see, am I loved and am I safe? It's a basic core human requirement. And the way that you learned to get love, the way that you learned to feel safe when you were young is showing up now in adulthood. That's how we learn how to do it. So let's look and see if any of these apply to you. The first one is, do I feel loved when I speak up for myself? Or do I think that the way to keep receiving love is to keep myself quiet? Don't speak up and say what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what I need, because I don't want to make the other person upset, whoever that other person is. Could be a partner, could be other people in your family, but I don't want to make them upset because there's that, there's that safety thing right? If I keep it safe, then I'm going to keep experiencing love. And if I speak up with my truth, that won't be okay. It won't be safe and people will stop loving me. That could be the first way that somebody learns how to cope. And that ends up in being inauthentic, shutting yourself down, always putting yourself last. That's one way. Here's a second way. If I do everything for everyone, if I'm the one that shoulders the burden, again, whether it's with a partner, in your own household, with your extended family, if I do it all, then I'll feel like people love me. If I show up for being the one to get things done, maybe that role got handed to you again, when you were very, very young. Let me just do it. Let me just make it be okay. Let me just make other people's lives work by doing all the things. And then there's the safety in your own house. If I do it all, then the house feels safe, like it's running okay. I don't have to worry that there's a problem. Let me just do it. So that's when you know, you're working really hard and you don't feel okay if things don't go a certain way. So you're hyperly vigilant on getting outcomes and just handling it yourself. Is that the way that you feel love and safety? Maybe it's this way. If I accomplish things, if I get a lot of recognition and awards, if I'm out there with better and better jobs and acknowledging and money and the things that people look at my life and say, wow, look at what they're doing, then I feel loved. Then I feel like the people around me are not disappointed in me. Then I feel like I'm worth getting the love that I'm craving, which means that the flip side of that is if I'm not on track with the things that other people think are important. If I'm not on track accomplishing, then I'm not loved for just who I am. So that so it might look like a life that's really successful with a lot of stuff, but inside there's an emptiness because there's the thinking, I'm not good enough if I'm not doing that. So there's always the effort of the next thing to acquire, the next accomplishment, the next thing to impress people, which can feel very lonely and like a lot of work, okay? Another way that might show up in how people are receiving love and giving love is actually putting up a wall so that might be you or it might be someone that you know or you're in a relationship with and they only allow love in so much and they only express love so much. There's like this wall and that comes from the safety part of it. That comes from, because again, they're equally important when we're very young. And so 
which one is going to take a priority and show up as more important depends on the circumstances we had to live through and deal with and cope with. So a wall could be up if it wasn't safe to really express love or something happened. We gave love, we were, we showed up open hearted and something painful happened. And then that wall goes up. I'm not going to allow that pain again. And it feels very normal, at least for a long time, to just be that way because you're just protecting yourself. But at some point, it feels like there's a disconnect. It feels like that wall is there and you know it's there. Either you're, you're on the other side of somebody else's wall or you're walled in inside your own and you don't know how to take the wall down. So if any of those are the way that relationships and giving and receiving love are showing up for you now today as an adult, it's just the way that it got created and experienced when you were young. It's what got modeled for you, it's what was okay in your house, or it's what certain experiences happened and you learned this is how I have to be. That's all it is. Any strategy can be switched to a different strategy. You can learn a different way to be. Here's one very important thing is first of all, figure it out. And here's some clues. Am I exhausted all the time? Do I feel resentful? Do I feel disconnected? Those are clues. And another important thing is you've got to start cultivating self-love because that's part of the mix. It's part of, I need to receive love from out there and if these ways are the ways that I learned, then I'm not paying attention to how to love myself, how to speak up, how to not take on all the burdens, how to be okay with myself even if I don't accomplish anything, and how to take that wall down inside of me and connect with myself without a wall, without any safety net, just acceptance for myself. That's what has to happen. So look, if you're hustling for love, if you're coping, if you're strategizing in order to feel safe and love, it came from your past and you can learn something else. Have a good day.